Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. And I just got back from physical therapy. I'm a little sore. He did a number on me. Um, but I'm feeling better. I went and saw my surgeon yesterday for my last appointment. I don't need to see him anymore. Um, he said I'm doing good, exactly how I should be. About another month or two of swelling he said i don't you can you can see it maybe a little bit um right down here it's really puffy and he said that this pain will subside and it's getting a little better every day it's just you know a long process so um i have one week next week two physical therapies and then after that he thinks we'll go down to once a week for a couple weeks and then i should be good he's got we're working on trying to get on my bike as quick as possible. And so we're kind of doing some weights, nothing too hard, but I was able to do this today. I know. All right, so I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. And some repeat buys, some fun stuff, nothing really new. My Dollar Tree has been kind of slow, um, but I found a few things and then I saw a few things that I thought I could use. But my drink first is iced tea tonight in my lemon cup. I love these cups from the Dollar Tree. Um, I just made some iced tea. I keep it in my fridge. Debbie, get off the counter. That's the cat. All right. So we'll start with pet stuff first. I picked up one of these six foot leads um, and a leash to attach to the end of it. So my you met Luna on the last video. She's a little Chihuahua Terry who bit me. Look at that bruise. You see that bruise? She bit me. Um, I have a small patio out back that I grill. I like to sit out there and Al Alex doesn't go outside, but Wellington will go out with me and lay down and Luna gets upset. So I thought I'm going to try to put this lead because she's so small. She can get under my fence and she runs. So I can't have that. So I grabbed this lead and then I thought if this wasn't quite long enough to give her some room, I grabbed this leash and because she's tiny, she's not going to, um, break you know this stuff and this isn't bad so this is 48 inches in length and this is six feet so between the two she should have enough walk around space on my little patio when she comes to visit so i grabbed that for her a uh, repeat buy i grabbed another another one of these wet and wild um pencil sharpeners. i have a couple makeup bags like one in my gym bag and one in my bathroom so i grabbed an extra just a half. I'll put it in my other makeup bag. And then I found this cup and I've only seen this at one store. Um, it's like a solo cup and it has a lid that like slides open and it's a little thicker. It's definitely washable. It's not a plastic solo cup, but this lid fits on it perfectly. Um, I'm going to the beach in a couple weeks and I thought perfect down poolside put a cold beverage in this or on the balcony um, my keto crook and marker little drinks that I can have perfect so I grab one of those and I might put on it see you at the beach s-e-a that's a pun I love a pun so I did that I grabbed that for one dollar um, I found one more pair of these socks for Christmas giving or for me because um, I will tell you they're nice and thick and I think these are going to be super cozy in the winter time. I have wood floors in my bedroom and at Sarah's house when I go up to visit her she has wood floors and so these are nice thick socks and these say cheers y'all. I just like the color. So I grabbed those for me because I have three pair. I gifted one pair already to a co-worker and then I have one pair for Sarah and one pair for my cousin Debbie. And I saw that and I was like, I'll get me one. I picked up for me, these are little like dipping bowls. I don't know what they call them. I think they're just dipping bowls. Um, they're glass and they hold maybe a half a cup. Maybe. We use them here around my house. I put milk in them for the cat. He gets a teaspoon of cream in the morning. But I also use them for me to have like a snack or something. And I was running low. So I grabbed a four pack. I think they get broken. I don't honestly know where they go. I have plastic ones. 
but the plastic ones are getting kind of gross. So I found the magnet. Go ask the cat. This is my life in this house and I needed this magnet. So I found it and I was super excited. So I grabbed that. I picked up, and this is a very small little haul, just so you know. Um, but I did grab a luggage tag for me. Um, I have one on my large suitcase, but I wanted one for my backpack in case I get separated from that. I thought it would be a good idea to have a luggage tag. And these aren't bad, I will tell you. They are rubber. You put your information on here and then they attach and that's cute and they had like an elephant they had a strawberry um i just liked this one i thought it was super you know cute and adult-ish so i can put this on my backpack and if it gets lost like i said at least we'll have the information of who it belongs to so i have a, i grabbed one of those from my trip not the trip to florida but when i fly I found for crafting purposes, and this is going to be for um, my Christmas in July to do the advent calendar. I'm going to use these glue dots, and I need to grab one more pack. I only grabbed one pack. These are the removable. It doesn't matter. They have removable and permanent. Um, I won't remove them, but they're just little glue dots. So this is perfect for that project. So I got Rob. Uh, I grabbed one of these. Um, if you're going to do the same as me, you'll need two of these or a glue gun. So I may just use one of these and then a glue gun, and I'll show you when I do it. But these are great. I use them frequently, and the dots work out well. So I grabbed a pack of those for Christmas in July. And what I don't have in here, it's in the car still, is I got a big foam core board, one of the white ones. You need that for the advent calendar as well. So far, we're up to two packages of the condiment cups with lids from the Dollar Tree, a foam core board from the Dollar Tree, and then if you want, you can get these little glue dots. You don't have to have these. You can use regular glue, hot glue. I just picked these up to do the advent calendar so far. So I have that. Oh, and you'll need some ribbon. I'm not buying ribbon at the Dollar Tree because I have ribbon. I have a ton of Christmas ribbon, but you'll need a ribbon too. Minimal. You can get other things as well. And then I got, for gifting, I grabbed this and I only found this at one of my Dollar Trees. And the brand is Greenbrier. Yep, this is a Greenbrier. It's, it's like a, I wouldn't say this is a coffee cup. This is more like a soup cup. But what I'm going to do with this, I love the color red. And I'm going to gift this at Christmas time. Maybe one of my coworker gifts. This is perfect for mug cake. Look how wide that top is. You can really get in there and stir. I mean, it's big. So I'm going to have this with some mug cakes, like a four pack of the Betty Crocker. I didn't buy them yet because the ones in my store right now expire before Christmas time. So I'll wait till closer. And even if I get them at the grocery store, they're not that expensive. But they have mug cakes. They have um, brownie. And I'm going to put a maybe a variety in here and then a neat little spoon that I can get at the Dollar Tree and tie it up and give that as a little, like, co-worker cute little gift you could also put a gift card in it for like coffee and it could be like coffee and cake kind of a situation and I just thought this this cup is the perfect size to create a mug cake in because that's what you want you want a nice wide mouth to do that so I grabbed one of those I just thought it was perfect they had a couple in my store but I don't need a bunch I need one to gift I know my nose is all red. Okay, and then the last thing I purchased was also, well, one's a gift and one's not. Okay, for gift giving, and this is for Sarah. It's not for Christmas or anything, but it says a house is not a home without paw prints. She loves her little dog. I love her little dog. She just is vicious and she's not vicious. She's just a brat. Um, but this is for Sarah. I can tell you that I hate these towels to touch. They're that the microfiber not a fan of them but i mean come on who needs she needs that for her house so i grabbed her that one and then i grabbed one of the lemon ones for me um and what i'm gonna do with this i oh, that hurt i hand wash a fair amount of my tupperware after i come home from work and i like to lay a towel down and just and i know they have the absorbent ones but that takes up too much room 
to store. I just like to lay this down and then I will put my, um, my wet dishes on it and they'll dry quickly. So I grab one of those from my kitchen. And then I grab two of these hand towels, a yellow and a green. And I'm going to make, um, with my lemon pot holders, I'm going to make a towel. Um, it's like a kitchen towel that hangs on your stove. I can't remember what they're called. But these are 100% cotton. And these are not bad at all. So I'm going to stitch this on to the pot holder and make a towel holder for my kitchen, for my stove. And I wanted to, I didn't have one with me to match the green, but this is the same shade. And I thought that would be pretty. So I'm going to do a white and a green. So I grab one of each and I couldn't, it's hard to find these white ones. And these are not in the kitchen section. I found these with the housewares and these aren't bad. I don't know that I would use this for like a bathroom towel, but it's great for a kitchen to dry your hands on. And I may gift these. We'll see. I don't know. I never know what I'm doing with my, oh, I'm not done yet. Who am I kidding? Duh, Lori. I thought I was done, but I'm not. So I started a happy, no, yes, a bullet journal. A bullet journal. And it's, so a bullet journal is sort of like a freeform planner. Now, if you know my personality, which you don't, I mean, I'm sure you get, you get glimpses of it, but permanency is very hard for me. I have a happy planner that I use. It has your months, 12 months, everything is laid out. And I just go in and write my calendar and schedules like everybody does, you know, a planner. But I decorate it and I love my happy planner. But what I love about it is the pages come out and they can go back in in whatever order or you can add pages, take out pages. So I love my happy planner. But I love the idea of a bullet journal too, which is lots of lists and trackers and all kinds of stuff. And now that I'm starting to plan my trip to Ireland next year, I need to have a place to put all the information that I'm collecting for myself, for my niece, for my family. Because there's a bunch of us going. So I started a notebook and I tried. I'm like, oh, I just can't. Like I couldn't get past the fact that I need to put things in certain orders, but maybe I want to change that order. So I went and bought a happy planner notebook. So it's not a planner, it's a notebook. And it has, and I'll show you when I get a few more pages complete in it what I'm choosing to use mine for because it's really anything you want it to be I don't need it as a calendar I need it to as a place to store lists information notes things of that nature so that's what I'm using mine for um, but part of the fun is decorating it and drawing pictures and stuff like that so I needed some supplies okay I need I wanted some supplies I did need like a clear ruler I hate this plastic because it makes everything shine funny but I have a wooden ruler but it makes it kind of hard the planner that I bought doesn't have lined pages it has dots it's a dot grid and I wanted and I actually would like to buy a smaller ruler but I couldn't find like the smaller one that's clear so when I do I'll pick it up but this one will work for now my pages just aren't this big they're like I think nine by seven so but I needed something clear so I could see the dots through it to draw. I need straight lines. That's just how I roll. So I grabbed this clear ruler, which is perfect. And then I got some pens. I picked up a hand lettering because I want to learn how to hand letter. So I grabbed the calligraphy pen and this one has a fine tip and a chisel point. So I'm going to learn to do some different types of calligraphy and handwriting. And this is the hand lettering pen. So I grabbed these to try. I picked up these to try. It says that these are superior quality, fine point, 0.5 millimeter in the blue. Um, I like a five millimeter in my plan, 0.5 millimeter for my planner. And I'll show you here in a minute, I have other ones. Um, but that's, the, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see the size tip. It's, it's pretty fine. I believe a 0.5 is as small as you're gonna get. So I have black, but I wanted some a blue pen. So I grabbed a three pack for a dollar. And I've not tried this Pro Max brand before. Um, but we'll see. I'll give them a try. And if I like them, I'll let you know. Now, I have tried these numerous times. And they are super hard for me to find. So I grabbed two packs of them. They don't write forever. That's the one drawback. But they write very well. This is a very nice felt tip, uh, 0.5 millimeter tip the 
version that I would get at like the art supply store or um, like Amazon are three pens for eight dollars. I actually just bought some for my nephew for Christmas for a drawing kit that I'm making, um, but I, I don't need that for this. So, and these write well. I purchased them before and I love them. So I saw them and I grabbed two packs because I don't always find these. Um, and these are the Ink Color Flow Quick Drying. And what you're looking for at the bottom, it says felt tip. And then it'll say somewhere in here, 0.5 millimeter. Oh, it says right here in the white, 0.5 millimeter. So if you're looking for a fine writing pen for a journal or a planner, these are really good. I really recommend these. Now I did buy the colored ones and the two of the, it was pink, purple and something and one didn't write, which was frustrating. They're 33 cents a piece. I'm not frustrated. It was just kind of discouraging, I guess. Unfortunate, um, but these write well. I've not had any issues. And again, if I get a dud, I get a dud, but I bought two packs and I ha I'm, have some out already. I have one that is running out of ink and it's not writing very well, so I need to throw that away. And then I have a second one I already opened. And then I bought these and it doesn't tell me, it just says fine tip, works on most surfaces. It's jot permanent marker, but it doesn't give me a like millimeter. Like, what are you calling fine tip? Now, I suppose if I'm being fair, the felt tip five millimeter is ultra thin, but I was gonna, I, this was at one store and all the other pens came from a different store and they, the one, the store that I found these at didn't have any of these, didn't have any of these two. So, oh, and these blue ones I have also seen in red. Um, I've not seen them in black, which I prefer black, but I just want to get outside of my box and have other, other fun colors to work with. And I will show you right now. I have a Christmas card list page done. I'm starting on some Christmas ones because I've started Christmas shopping and crafting. So I need a place to document what I bought for who. So I'm not overbuying when the holidays come around. That's why I started with the Christmas. And then I have a page so far that I need to finish that I'm putting books, all the books, not the ones I've already read this year, but the ones I have to read this year and the ones, or that I want to read this year and the ones that are coming out this year and probably into next year. Okay, yeah, so this is just like a regular size Sharpie. This is not something I will use in my planner, but I will use it. I'm not worried about that. I just won't use it in my planner, um, but I use Sharpies for crafts all the time. So I got that. Now we are done. Cause that is all the things. Oh, sorry. All the things I bought. I should try this pen and see if it writes. It's the blue. It does not appear to write very well. At least not on the. Okay, well that one doesn't write. Well, that's not fun. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. Oh, see, this one writes really nice. This will be good for a planner. This is just a dead pen, and it happens. I'll try getting it to write, but yeah, it writes really nice. And we'll try this third one while I've got it out here. Oh yeah, these write, these write really nice. Um, the other pens I got an, a while ago, I haven't seen them recently, are, were the um, hand lettering pens. It had the brush tip on one end and the fine tip on the other. I got a couple odd colors, but I'm going to use those to practice my hand lettering. So I went online and I printed off from Tombow Company some free hand lettering stencils that you can practice writing your letters. So I'm going to practice writing my letters and it's time for me to get ready for bed and I will talk to y'all later. You have a good one. Bye.